Today we're going to read Caterpillar to Butterfly by Laura Marsh. This is a nonfiction book. There's a table of contents. We're going to start off right at the beginning at Riddle on page four. What starts as an egg then walks on many legs and then uses wings to fly? A butterfly. Butterflies are fun to watch. They fly with loops and dives. Some have bright colors. Some have bold patterns too. Here's a joke. What do you call an insect that's running out of gas? A sputter by butterfly. Four stages. It's also fun to watch butterflies change. They change a lot in their short lives. In fact, there are four stages in the butterfly's life. An egg, a caterpillar, a chrysalis, and then a butterfly. The catch word on this page is stages. Stages are steps of how something grows. So these are the four stages of the butterfly's life. So stage one. A mother butterfly lays many eggs on a leaf or branch. Each egg is close to food, caterpillar food that is. So this is the Malayan egg fly butterfly. And then butterfly eggs come in um, many different um, shapes and sizes. So those are all different caterpillar eggs. Stage two, caterpillar. The tiny caterpillar bites a hole to the, in the egg and it crawls out. The caterpillar is very hungry. The caterpillar eats its shell. Then it eats the leaf it's on. The caterpillar moves to another leaf and then it eats it too. The caterpillar grows and grows. It gets too big for its skin. It sheds its old skin like a snake. So this is the old skin right here. This is the small white butterfly caterpillar. The new skin fits for a while, but then the caterpillar is too big for that skin too. Caterpillars shed their skin four to five times. Okay, here's my joke, or here's the book's joke. What's green and dangerous? A caterpillar with a bad temper. Stage three, the chrysalis. By now the caterpillar is ready to rest. It hangs upside down. It sheds its skin one more time. This is gonna be, this is the monarch butterfly caterpillar. The new layer is called a chrysalis. It is a hard shell. Inside the caterpillar is changing. It stays in the chrysalis for 10 to 14 days. So 10 to 14 days is how long they're going to be in there, that chrysalis. These are the different stages. They start off like this, and that, and then that, and that, and that. Stage four, butterfly. The chrysalis moves, it splits open. The butterfly wiggles out. Its wings are wet and crumpled. This is the Julia butterfly coming out of its chrysalis. Blood pumps into the butterfly's wings. They get bigger and harden. The wings dry. Now the butterfly is ready to fly. Have a good trip, butterfly. How are caterpillars and babies alike? They both creep and crawl. Time for lunch. A butterfly doesn't eat plants like a caterpillar. It has no mouth. A butterfly drinks nectar from flowers. It drinks juice from fruit. A tube on its head works like a straw. Slurp. Here he is slurping the nectar. Nectar is a sugary liquid that's found inside flowers. He is really enjoying his nectar, huh? Here's some cool facts about butterflies. 
The world's smallest butterfly is a blue pygmy. It's the length of a pushpin from wing to wing. So it's not very big. It's like very little. Um, then, let's see. No. Butterfly wings are covered with tiny scales. Butterflies exist all over the world except in Antarctica and the driest deserts. There are 17,000 kinds of butterflies in the world. Butterflies taste with their feet. They have taste sensors there. The world's largest butterfly is the Queen Alexandra Birdwing. It's as long as a ruler from wing to wing. Back off. Caterpillars and butterflies are tasty snack, or tasty snack for predators, but they have tricks to keep predators away. Some hide using camouflage. Camouflage is an animal's natural color or shape that helps it hide from an enemy. Some can be a deadly to eat, so the predator could get sick if they ate it. And um, a predator is an animal that eats other animals. Some look like other things. This caterpillar doesn't really look like a caterpillar. What does it look like to you? Does it look like a snake? That's what I'm seeing. Like a snake head. Moth or butterfly. So these are the butterflies. These are the moths. So let's find the difference. So moth and butterflies look alike. Here's how you can tell them apart. So they're the butterfly body is slender. See how this is much wider? And the moth body is fat and furry. Then the antennas are thin on the butterfly and they have tiny little knobs at the end. And the um, moth antennas, so, um, the antennas slim to a point and look like feathers. They look very different, don't they? Um, bodies are slender. Oh yeah, we already talked about that. Um, they can be brightly colored if they're a butterfly. Moths are usually brown, tan or white. And then moths usually fly at night. Butterflies fly during the day. Okay, what it, what's it called when a moth cries? A moth ball. <laughs> so bring butterflies to you. This is something you could do at home. You can bring butterflies to your backyard. Make a butterfly garden. But first, definitely first, ask an adult for help. Here are the different things you can do or different things you'll need. So to bring butterflies to your backyard, make sure you have plants that are local to your area. So that are local to where we live. Um, plants that bloom at different times. Orange, purple, yellow, pink, and red flowers. Flowers that are clustered together. So you wanna have the flowers all together, planted together. Flat-topped flowers, because butterflies do love to rest on top of a flower. A sunny spot for butterflies to rest, like a flat stone. A wet and watery spot for butterflies to drink. No chemicals, which can kill butterflies and caterpillars. And then these pictures are close-up views of butterfly things. So, hmm, a caterpillar starts here. What do you think it is? An egg. Uh, big changes happen inside. What do you think it is? A chrysalis. An all-day eater. What is it? Caterpillar. This is covered with scales. What do you think it is? Butterfly wings. It uses this to hide from predators. What do you think it is? Camouflage. You won't find these on your head. What is it? An antenna. Oh, and do you think it's a moth or a butterfly? Butterfly. And then here is a butterfly. 
and camouflage, the nectar, stages, and the predator, an animal that eats other animals. These are all things that we just talked about. Thank you for listening to the story with me. Bye.